All right, in today's video, I'm gonna show you how I keep my tent warm when it's freezing out. Currently, right now, it is, see if you can make this out on there, 21 degrees out, which is negative five Celsius. I'm gonna show you the setup we use when it gets down in the teens and the 20s to uh, sleep comfortably in a gazelle. This will work in any tent. You gotta be safe with how you do it, do things right, and I'm gonna show you how. First step on the gazelle is we run a 20 pound propane tank to a Mr. Buddy heater. Having doors on both ends makes it real easy to run the hose through, but you could also um, unvelcro at the bottom. On other tents, most of them have a power inlet port someplace. You could run the hose through there. Let me take you inside and show you how I set this up. So inside the tent here, something I found helps a lot, Let's see if I can show you here, is this. It's just a piece of indoor outdoor carpet. We always put that down first. Really does help insulate the ground a little bit. Some people use moving blankets. Um, it's just super cold out. I'll put a moving blanket underneath this for two layers of insulation. Also always use a ground sheet because it helps keep your tent from freezing to the ground. From here, this tote has all of my tent supplies in it, so it always comes in the tent anyway. I normally keep it under the cot, but when it's cold out, I use it as a perk for the Mr. Buddy to keep it up off the ground a little bit, away from anything flammable. This is the Big Buddy heater, again running off a 20 pound tank. You can run it off one pound tanks, but it gets expensive fast. It'll burn through a one pound tank in about four hours. Also very, very important, carbon monoxide detector. Anytime you're running an open flame in anything, have a carbon monoxide detector. Um, up here, let me bring you up. If you can make it out there, that is a smoke detector. I keep in the loft. Can't be too safe. Next, I always bring my little power pack. Not a must have, but it helps a lot. The real key to keeping this thing nice and cozy is the fan right there. That is an old polar 10,000 mile fan. It'll run eight hours in warm weather anyway. I haven't tried it in the cold because I usually run it off the power pack. But that will circulate there in the tent so you don't just get a warm zone around the heater. Now probably the most important step keeping you comfortable is getting up off the ground. You want to avoid air mattresses and stuff like that because they have no insulation. We use Coleman cots, if you can see it here. They sit about a probably 10 inches off the ground or so. They come with a one inch foam pad, which is a good insulator. We use 20 degree sleeping bags. Something to know on sleeping bags is 20 degrees is the survivability rating, not the comfort rating. It'll keep you alive at 20, but you won't like it. It's always also good, see over here behind me, to always have an extra blanket with you. Just so you can get down a couple more degrees. If the heater fails, temperatures drop more than you expect. Something worth mentioning, this tent has a mesh roof. And usually when I'm running the heater, I will also crack a window. The fan helps also. Propane, when it burns, does put off moisture. And if you don't get some circulation in the tent, everything inside will end up wet, and that's miserable in the cold. Now, I have seen people put moving blankets between the rain fly and the mesh roof to seal that off and keep a little more heat in. I found it unnecessary, and you need some ventilation to uh, keep the condensation down. So, this has always worked great for me. So now you're all wondering, what's the temperature in the tent? 21 outside, it is about 60 degrees, I do believe. 61 degrees in this tent right now. That is 16 degrees Celsius. So, huge difference, you need to keep you warm, you enjoy your night's sleep a whole lot better. It's just nice to kick back and relax in a warm tent. So I hope this video helped you out. I hope you learned a little bit of something today. There are some things to keep in mind. I wouldn't recommend running a heater all night with kids and things like that in the tent because you've still got a, a flame source. You don't want to get any blankets or anything like that kicked up against it. Make sure you have plenty of room around it and above it. Make sure you have a smoke detector and a carbon monoxide detector. And be safe, use common sense, enjoy your camping. Well, I hope this answers some questions and you learned something today. If this helped you out, be sure and check out some other videos. I've got a lot of uh, things up that 
may help you out a lot of camping trips, a lot of how-tos, and a lot more to come. So we'll catch you next time. As always, thanks for watching Hoosier Outdoor.